Good day, learners. In this video, we will discuss describing the horizontal and vertical motions of a projectile. Are you ready? Let us begin. When a ball is tossed upward, it will not continue moving straight up to the sky, same with a ball hit by a bat. Instead, it will fall back to the ground following a parabolic path due to the action of gravity. This motion is called projectile motion. Projectile motion is the motion of an object launched or thrown horizontally or at any angle other than 90 degrees with respect to the horizontal, following a parabolic path called trajectory. Projectile motion is a combination of horizontal and vertical motions, in which each motion is completely independent of each other. The horizontal motion is a uniform motion while the vertical motion is a free fall. Like a rolling ball on a frictionless floor, an object thrown or launched will keep moving forward at an equal distance each time interval, because there are no horizontal forces acting on the object, and it is neither affected by gravitational force. In this case, the velocity in the horizontal component is constant, which means that the object is not accelerating. On the other hand, vertical motion is affected by gravitational force. The vertical velocity of a projectile either downward or upward changes by equal amounts during an equal time interval, which means that there is a vertical acceleration. To understand this clearly, consider this example. Angelo used his knee to toss a soccer ball at an angle theta with an initial velocity of V sub O. The soccer ball followed the trajectory shown in the figure. Let us analyze the horizontal and vertical motions of the ball, denoted by x and y respectively. We can see that the horizontal velocity v of the ball at any time t is the same as the initial horizontal velocity v sub o x. It means that the horizontal speed and the direction never change just as shown in the figure, hence, the horizontal acceleration, a, is zero. On the other hand, vertical velocity decreases at a constant rate during equal time intervals until it becomes zero at the maximum height. After reaching the maximum height, the vertical velocity will increase again at the same rate. Moreover, there is vertical acceleration because the velocity changes both in speed and direction. The vertical acceleration, negative 9.8 meters per second squared, is constant all throughout. Now let's try to put some numbers. If the angle of projection is 30 degrees and the initial velocity is 5.88 meters per second, what will be the values of initial horizontal and vertical velocities? How about the velocities after 0.1 s? After 0.2 s? We have discussed previously that the horizontal velocity is constant all throughout, Hence, the horizontal velocity is the same as the initial horizontal velocity, which is 5.09 meters per second. Now, let us compute the vertical velocities at times 0.1s and 0.2s using the equation for vertical velocity times time. The vertical velocities after 0.1s and 0.2s are 1.96 meters per second and 0.98 meters per second, respectively. The velocities we calculated are recorded on the table. Now it is time for you to try. Compute the horizontal and vertical velocities for each given time. Did you get the same answer? Good. Now, let's look on the velocities. We can see that the horizontal velocity is constant all throughout while the vertical velocity changes in speed and in direction. The change in direction is indicated by the sign. Positive sign indicates that the ball is moving upward while negative sign indicates that the ball is moving downward. In summary, we have learned that projectile motion is a combination of horizontal and vertical motions. Horizontal motion is a uniform motion which means it has a constant velocity and is not accelerating. 
On the other hand, vertical motion is a free fall and accelerating at a constant rate of negative 9.8 meters per second squared. Here is a summary of equations describing the vertical and horizontal motions of a projectile. There will be an evaluation of your understanding of the lesson. Are you ready? Let's start. Multiple choice, select the correct answer. Which of the following statements is true about the horizontal motion of a projectile motion? A. Horizontal velocity is zero at the highest point of a projectile. B. Horizontal velocity changes through time. C. Horizontal motion is not affected by gravity. D. Horizontal motion is dependent on vertical motion. The correct answer is C. Horizontal motion is not affected by gravity. Multiple choice, select the correct answer. Which of the following statements is false about vertical motion of a projectile motion? A. Vertical acceleration is zero at the highest point of a projectile. B. Vertical velocity changes through time. C. Vertical acceleration is constant. D. Vertical velocity is affected by gravitational force. The correct answer is A. Vertical acceleration is zero at the highest point of a projectile. Multiple choice, select the correct answer. After reaching the maximum height, what will happen to the horizontal velocity of the ball? A. It will decrease, B. It will increase, C. It will remain constant, D. It will become zero maximum height. The correct answer is C. It will remain constant. Multiple choice, select the correct answer. Which of the following figures is correct? The correct answer is B. Multiple choice, select the correct answer. A ball is thrown 30 degrees with respect to the horizontal with an initial velocity of 5 meters per second. What will be the vertical acceleration of the ball at its maximum height? A. 0 meters per second squared. B. Negative 9.8 meters per second squared. C. 3.0 meters per second squared. D. 5.2 meters per second squared. The correct answer is B, negative 9.8 meters per second squared. How many correct answers did you get? If you got all correct answers, you are doing great. If you got some incorrect answer, don't worry, you can rewatch this video to review in which question did you get wrong. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell, so you never miss a new video. Also, feel free to leave a comment down below with any feedback or suggestions for future videos. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you in the next one.